Welcome back to Open House NYC. Now we're down south for an up-close look at the luxurious estate of Sheree Whitfield of Bravo's Real Housewives of Atlanta. If you're familiar with the show, you know all about the drama behind the construction of Chateau Charest, as it has come to be known. Well, all of it turned out to be well worth it because Charest created a personal home that exudes opulence, comfort, and style at every turn. Charest shows us around. Hey guys, I'm Sheree Whitfield and welcome to my home in Atlanta. I finally finished Chateau Charest about a year and a half ago, and I can honestly say from top to bottom, it is my dream home, and I can't wait to show you around. Come on. I love to entertain, so I wanted a wow factor the moment people walk through the door. I think that what makes a luxury home so great is paying attention to detail. Here in the foyer, you'll notice that detail from the marble porcelain floors all the way up to the mother of pearl domed ceiling. Details like that establish the glamorous tone that I wanted throughout the home. Now, if you're familiar with the housewives, you know I built this house from the ground up to my exact specifications. And because I love to have guests over, it was important to me that the place had an easy open flow from room to room. This is the dining area that sits off of the foyer. It's framed by these three custom columns. I had them painted in a faux marble finish to complement the floors. I love texture and you'll notice that throughout the home. In here, I use a silk watermark wall covering to give the room its own feel. The furniture is designed by Christopher Guy and it has a classic yet modern feel. I love how the back of the chairs looks like a lady crossing her legs. The mirror is the perfect focal point. It's sexy, it's glamorous, and it reminds me of a diamond. I love it because every angle has a different reflection. Plus, it's just practical to check yourself out before you leave. And for a bit of symmetry, it's framed by these beautiful sconces. And what formal dining room would be complete without a Swarovski crystal chandelier? Not this one. This is the great room. I love curved walls and arched windows. And this is the place where I got to indulge that love. And I tell you, no one told me curved walls and arched windows were more expensive, way more expensive, but now I know. It's got almost 30 foot ceilings and a circular crystal chandelier that hangs above the room like a halo. The fireplace is covered with a kind of oxidized brick wallpaper. And I love how it reflects the light in subtle ways. The furniture, again, is Christopher Guy. It's sexy, it's feminine, and it kind of mimics the curves and architecture in this room. There's textures in the fabrics and in the pillows. There's also a lookout on the second floor that you can check out what's going on down here. And the kids use it to scream down when they're too lazy to come downstairs. Overall, the great room is a showstopper, and that was my intention. But let me show you the room where everyone stops first. The kitchen. While kitchens are typically the most popular place in any home, I wanted my kitchen to be just as fab and glam as the rest of my home. I couldn't resist. I wanted an old Hollywood feel, but because it is the most popular place, I wanted it to be practical and still comfortable. It has a classic layout with some classic elements, like this marble island and this long butcher's block counter. But there's little moments of flair that make it unique. For example, just look at this backsplash. I'm obsessed. Every space needs to have a memorable moment, and the backsplash does it for me. A comfortable lounge space and dining nook round out the kitchen. And just when you thought we were done, there's one more place that you have to see. This is my fab basement. It's like nothing you've ever seen before. Hey. Hey. Putting some finishing touches in here. This is my designer, Mikkel Welch. And lucky for you, he's going to show you around. So I'll catch you guys later, and I'll be back. Sounds good. And you guys are in for a special treat because we have a ton to cover. So this is a really special project for me. I actually got this phone call from Steve Harvey to help a friend of his out and it ended up being Sheree Whitfield of The Real Housewives of Atlanta. The bar was set really high, so I can't wait for you guys to see what I've done. 
So this is the first area that you see when you come downstairs into Sheree's basement. I wanted an area where Sheree and her girlfriends could just come and just relax and chill. So when I was beginning to design the space, you know, obviously I'm working with an oval room. So I decided to go with an arc shaped sectional. So for the color scheme, I decided to go with very muted tones of gray and beige and brown. But the thing with that is, you know, when you use such muted tones, you've really got to bring it, you know, with your textures. I've layered velvet on top of woven material. In this space, I've used a lot of brass. I've used a lot of stainless steel. So it's all about weaving all of those different elements together to really make it one cohesive look. So the first time I met Sheree, she was having a huge party. So as far-fetched as it sounds, I told Sheree, I think we need to give you your own VIP nightclub in your basement. And that's exactly what we did. So of course, we all know every nightclub has to have an amazing bar. And that's exactly where I started in Sheree's basement. I love the fact that, you know, we created this whole modern, clean waterfall design. It just really ties in, you know, nicely with all of the modern elements that we have in the space. For her stools, I decided to go with brass stools that had been reupholstered with Tibetan wool. I mean, that's kind of luxe. Another thing that I love is the backsplash. I went with a hexagon mirrored backsplash. You know, it's kind of girly, it's kind of whimsical, so when we have the disco ball going, it really looks good in this space. Now my friend Sheree loves a good glass of Chardonnay, so I wanted to give her an awesome wine cellar. I did a whole custom design where I have marble that's backlit, and the best part is LED light so I can change it to any color. So contingent upon her mood, it could be pink or purple. I kind of call this the VIP lounge. You know, Sheree's that girl who loves VIP. So I had this U-shaped sectional built. You know, they can have conversations, keep drinking the cocktails. I've used a monochromatic palette and I wanted that to kind of transition into this area as well. I put mirrors on every single wall in here just to open up that space. And Sheree, you know, she loves a lot of glitz and glamor. So I've even given her this crocodile embossed wallpaper. I mean, that's pretty luxe. So after all the guests are gone, the dust is settled, sometimes Sheree just wants to sit down and watch television. So I created a home theater room for her. It has an amazing U-shaped sectional once again. The sectional was great, but what I love most about this space is the graphic carpet that I used. Well, how did it go? I mean, this is the chateau. It sure beats a manor <laughs> any day. Absolutely. <laughs> I think people are gonna absolutely love it. Like, we put a lot of work into this it place. Is. I mean, remember, uh, on the show when they snuck down in the basement. I know, you have some shady girlfriends. I mean, some shady girlfriends. Why did you take Candy down to the basement? I was being shady. You were being shady? Yeah. That shit was yeah. being Kenya. <laughs> Is this the basement? I don't even think we supposed to be down here. After all the digs that she has taken at my house, this lady is living in a war zone. Many more. Yes, many more. Well, that's it, guys. I hope you enjoyed your glimpse into Chateau Charest. And thank you guys for coming. See you guys later.